So, should we do a little update of what's what's happening? <laughs> well, we've come outside for a coffee. Yeah. We've been in the museum for three and a half hours, <laughs> and we still haven't got upstairs. No. So we're probably only halfway through. All those phones, three phones, we've used for filming. They're all dead, no battery. So we're just trying to charge them up quickly, which isn't going to happen. No. So we're going to be going in with just a little bit of battery on each phone and hopefully get some more footage, but it's all we can do, really. We may have to actually even come back. It could be a possibility, I don't know. What do you think? No, we no. won't be back. We won't be back. <laughs> So what's your views on the place so far then? Absolutely love it. It's right down my, up my street, down my street. It's yeah. on my street anyway. Is it up yeah. my street or down my street? It's uh, up my street. Uh, it's right up my street. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I love anything like this. Yes, it's very sick is a lot of it, but mm. it's, you know, th things which are sick have actually happened. Like There's a lot of things about black people and calling mm. them the N-word and... Klu Klux Klan and then you've got we haven't even shown ISIS it's shown pictures oh. of beheadings and things actual pictures I couldn't even walk through that bit could I no no we didn't get the camera out in there that was just too much for yeah. you guys to put in a video it's mm. but it's fascinating these things did happen and it is history and I like to read and hear about them some bits are really, really interesting. Yeah, it's all interesting. Oh, it's all interesting. <laughs> I've not found an uninteresting. No, but where bit. I was going with this is that it, uh, at some points I was actually retching. I, yeah. I, my stomach was turning, yeah. and I even felt panic attacks coming on at some mm. points. It was a bit sick. We still don't even know what's upstairs yet, do we? No, we will very soon. Yeah. So that's it, guys. We're just having just a an cuppa. update. Just a quick update, we're having a cuppa, get our phones charged. And back <laughs> to it. Yeah. So now we're on to the story of the Black Widow. Have you heard of her? Mm, sort of, only by you, but not really, no. She's called Linda Calvey. Yeah. And they're all connected, you know. Yeah. Linda Calvey was a good friend of the wife of one of the Cray twins, all right? All right. She went to prison, she became friends with Rosemary West, the serial killer. Yeah. And, as it says up here, Myra, Myra Hindley. Hindley. She was in prison with her in uh, Durham. She first met her in Cookham Wood Prison. But this is something which Rosemary West, the serial killer, I've read that, excellent book. Rosemary West made this and sent it to uh, Linda Calvey. Look, she even puts... she's. Obviously very pleased to be called the Black Widow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here she is at this actual jail with the owner of the jail handing over some, some of these exhibits. And that's her death mask sort of thing. She's not in prison anymore, she's out. And she's married to this guy, I believe. We've got some other clothing here which she's given. We've got a bra here. Look, she's even signed it, the Black Widow. She's done all like these notes all over here. Yeah, so, like, she's, she's, she's wrote these notes and she's yeah. put the Black Widow in the corner. Look, yeah. Well, she was a looker back in when she was young. Look, there she is. Yeah, very. And she great. basically just used, used to seduce all the hard men, all the nutters in London. Well, she her Neither. other friend was um, Charles Bronson as well. Charles so Bronson was a friend, she was yeah. Mingling with that lot. <laughs> so uh, she just had gangster boyfriends, and she'd sleep with anyone. To she just loved the bad people. She ended up going to prison for being an armed robber. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, she's out now. Whitney Houston. Did you say she's dead? No, she's dead now. Oh. She? oh, she's the one who had yeah drug overdose yeah. or something, wasn't it? Yeah, she died in the bath or something. Mm. Yeah. This is all sports memorabilia in here. Mm. Manchester United shirt back there. I noticed that. <laughs> Not happy. Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo's shirt. You've got Wayne Rooney over here, though, and um, Ronaldo. 
All right, stop pointing out Man, Man United <laughs> players. No one's interested. I suppose this one's quite cool. Mm -hmm. You've got Georgia Best. Oh. And Kevin Keegan. You've even got Tiger Woods. All signed by George. Oh, I didn't know that. Do you know by George? Yeah. Kama, 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 chameleon. Oh, God, don't sing. <laughs> we'll get kicked out. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> You've even got a signature of Colonel Gaddafi on there. Sticking to the Boy George theme. Mm. Their Boy George's prison boxer shorts. Yeah. <laughs> His yeah. prison boxer shorts, which is signed. I don't know what the rubber gloves are about. I don't know if I want to know what the rubber gloves are about. <laughs> yeah. Heather McCartney. Was that, that's Paul McCartney's wife, yeah? Yeah. I thought she had one leg. I don't know why. I'm sure she had one leg. I don't know, I wouldn't know. She might have had two legs at one point and now have one leg. Or I, I don't know, she <laughs> died of cancer, didn't she? Oh, did she? Well, I so. think so, yeah. I do like her boots though, they're very nice. Mm. From the feet of Lady Mucker. <clears throat> Maz is going a bit weird. I am. <laughs> don't know why. Anyway, there's a an actual human skeleton of uh, somebody who was murdered, a murder victim. They got stabbed to death. Uh, this is their coffin as well, their oak coffin. And it was saved to use for medical and educational purposes. But if you look at the hands, you can still see where some of the, t yeah, it was tortured and its fingers were cut off at the knuckles there. Poor, poor thing. Yeah, Maz is finding that a bit difficult. Another proper sicko here, Ian Huntley. This is a letter Ian Huntley has written. Him and his girlfriend murdered two beautiful little girls. There they are, look. He was the school caretaker and he murdered them. And above you've got Harold Shipman there. Killed himself, he hung himself. 265 people they reckon he killed, it says up there. There's even Donald Trump. President of America, signed photo. There you go. He's talking about all the scandals involving him. Got some really famous names in here. Bill Clinton, signed photo. Tony Blair, signed photo. More Tony Blair, signed photo. Boris Johnson, signed letter. Jeremy Corbyn. Gordon Brown. John Major, Oliver Cromwell's death mask. Haven't we seen one of them somewhere else? I thought we had. I think we have, you know. Yeah. I think they had they made quite a few of him actually. That's me in the morning. <laughs> That's what? That's me in the morning. <laughs> That's you in the afternoon. <laughs> Michael Sams. You don't know him, do you? No. I think I've told you, about a mile away from where I lived, there was a, a, a man who, he kidnapped an estate agent. Oh, yeah, you tried, I watched it, actually. Did, Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched the documentary. Really good, interesting yeah. documentary yeah, about sick. it. Yeah. He hid her in, like, a little hole in the kitchen or something, in the basement. Yeah. Uh, Michael Sams. These are his paintings, look at them. Oh. He was a very good painter, I'll have to give him that. Complete psycho, but uh, yeah. And this is the story about him, this is Michael Sams. This is the estate agent who he kidnapped. Um, and this, he actually kept her inside there and in the other side of there, I believe, was a room or something. That might be the room. She was locked in there for, I, I don't know, a few like, weeks. No, I think it was eight days. Oh, eight days. Yeah. 
He was trying to get a ransom money for her. Try and find a documentary on him if you've never heard of him. Really interesting stuff. And that's a letter which he's wrote. There's a letter there from the big paedophile Jimmy Savile. And you know what disgusts me about that, Mazzy? What? If you look at his signature, yeah. when I sign Deep Digger Dan on the yeah. other channel, <laughs> I put a little smiley face in mine. I'm going to stop doing it now. Yeah, look as well. When Peter Andre did that on me, he yeah. put a smile in there as well. <laughs> Peter Andre. And that's tattooed on. I can't get off now. <laughs> you don't see many of these, Mazzy. An Anderson air raid shelter, but the yeah. thing about this is, yeah. it's not a model, it's a real one. Oh. This is a real one from World War II, which has been preserved. Oh, wow. That's so good. It's a shame we can't go in, really. Yeah. You can't see in there, it's just too dirty, but... No, not really. What are you excited about? Quadrophenia. Quadrophenia, yeah. one of the best films of all time yes. ever. Let's start down this second. It's literally a building full of Quadrophenia. We're going to like this. Quadrophenia stuff. This is, I love this guy here in Quadrophenia. We're just so cool. <laughs> Phil Daniels, I'm guessing, is his name. There he is. Isn't that, wasn't he the guy in EastEnders as well? I don't watch is it the same thing? EastEnders. I think it's the same guy. He's in EastEnders now, or it was recently. Don't know. That's the actual film script from Quadrophenia. Look, they've all signed it. Oh dear. <laughs> Have you seen this jacket here? Oh, you got yeah, this the Parker. Oh, it's wicked, isn't it? Oh, I love it. <laughs> My dad had a bag like this. Oh really? Not the same. Well, in fact, this is an Adidas one. He had a bag the same as this, but it was a more of a tan colour, tan colour brown. Yeah. It didn't have the patches on it because my dad wasn't a mod or a rocker. But I have got a story about the bag. He okay. once he was taking my cat, my kitten, sneeze it to the vet on the bus and he had like its head peeking out here mm -hmm. yeah. and he was at the bus stop and the cat got out, ran up into the field and six dogs attacked it and ate it to death oh. by sneezing. Oh, I love it. It's just so cool. I love the clothes they used to wear. I'd wear that dress. They used to scare me though. Like, Why? It's going on about skinheads now here. Yeah. Skinheads used to scare me because when I were young, I'm talking like five to seven years old. Yeah. All lads on the estate were skinheads and glue sniffers and they were bad people and they used to scare the hell out of me. Because they were bigger boys. So that's that's an original seat from the Lambretta scooter used in Quadrophenia, which Leslie Ash sat on. Yeah. There, look. Yeah. I'm guessing that's Leslie Ash and that's yeah. the actual seat she's sat on. Worn by Sting in Quadrophenia. I remember this from the film. That is amazing. And we're not sure about the bikes here, but this yeah. we think is the original scooter. The scooter, which you can see in the picture there. 
Yeah, there, sorry. <laughs> You're going to be interested in this. Yeah. Where did I just see it? This guy here, him there is out of Quadrophenia. Yeah. It's the guy who played him in oh. All the Frozen Horses. Um, what's his name? I forget his name in Fools and Horses. Um, um, I don't know, but his name's Danny Peacock. And he played Mental Mickey. Yeah, Mental Mickey, that's him, yeah. And he was in Quadrophenia. Didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that. Have you got the police after you again? Not this time. <laughs> what year is it from, do you reckon? I don't know. It's an old 60s. one. I think it's a Morris Minor, isn't it? Really couldn't tell you. If you look inside, it just shows you how basic the radios were back then, look. Oh, the whole car, really? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Morris Minor. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I do love old cars. I bet the smell of leather in there as well, nice. We're just wondering, there's a lot of heartbeat things in here, the programme heartbeat. And there's a picture of one of the cars there, and we're wondering if the one out there is actually from Heartbeat. It could be the same one, couldn't it? It's possible. Mm. Nick, uh, what's his name? Berry, is it? Nick Berry. Yeah. I know his song. Every loser. I told you we're going to get kicked I've out. I've seen that before. <laughs> Just on the way out, look at this. A handwritten letter by the Birdman of Alcatraz. Robert Stroud. Robert Stroud. Yeah. And another. Wrote quite a few letters, did this chap. There he is. That's his cell in Alcatraz. And nearly everybody in the world's favourite film, one of them, Shawshank Redemption, all signed it, look. So the Black Widow was Myra Hindley's prison hairdresser. But she's wrote this letter about her. This is her writing. This is the Black Widow. What I personally think of Myra Hindley. Well, I thought the same about her as any other same person thinks. She was pure evil. She had no remorse at all and only felt sorry for herself. She should have been hung along with Brady. I hope it makes you, the reader, feel better to know she really suffered in the last few years and was in constant pain, which just got worse and worse. She died a very painful death and never got the freedom she craved. Linda Calvey, the Black Widow. Wow. <laughs> so five hours later, we've we've Literally. done the we've done the museum. Um, what did you think? It's called uh, Little Dean, Dean Little Dean Jail yeah. Museum. What? What do you think of it? Just amazing. It just amazing. There's so much there. I still don't feel we covered half. We of hardly it, really. touched it. We yeah. hardly. We, you could spend. Yeah. I'm not exaggerating. You could spend a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to read everything and look at everything, you'd be there a week. You would. Yeah. So I'll give it marks out of ten. Ten. <gasps> I give it two hundred. Yeah. That is the best museum I've ever been to, the best I'll ever go to. Nothing will ever beat that. The price was just amazing. Ten pound, which you might think is a lot of money for a museum, no. it's worth twenty, thirty pound. You pay ten pound just to go round quarter of the bottom bit, yeah. don't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, get yourself to that museum, guys. Yes. Honestly, highly, highly recommended. It's near uh, Little Dean Forest, I think it is. I think that's where we are. Yeah, I think so. Uh, just on the border with Wales. That's all I can say about it. I hope I, you enjoyed them. I don't recommend coming here with children, personally. There no. was somebody in there with two young kids and no. No, there is a lot of signs warning you about doing, about children. Some sections said only 18s only. Yeah. And yeah, I agree. It's too graphic for kids. Yeah, it's too graphic for me and I'm nearly 40. <laughs> Right, thanks for watching that little yeah. series. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, back to us travelling and vloggy bits now. So, yeah. see you all very, very soon. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>